Today we are going to explain and show you how to make coins from Bronze Pack Method. As you can see, we have sold some of these cards for crazy prices, and that is down to the World Cup mode being out. So basically what you're looking for in terms of demand and how reasons or why cards go up in price is if we go to SBCs and we go to live, we have got ourselves a position modifier that needs one bronze card. So it doesn't affect the market too much, but it does imply some demand on top of that. Plus, on top of that, we have got this new 75 plus World Cup upgrade that needs at least seven or I think five, six bronzes, as well as the Ecuador that needs a minimum of seven bronzes and good chemistry so that is why cards at the moment as you saw on our list are flying up in price you're going to need to have at least ten thousand coins i'd say to really start making coins on this method and what you need to do is you just need to open up the packs you are looking for any world cup nation so if anyone is from the world cup for example this scottish guy isn't going to help us that much but because we need rares and he's in an off league so he's in a championship they have got some value so as you can see here this guy looks like he sells for 1.2 instant sell. And we have already made profit on our first pack without looking at anyone else. The wingers seem to go for some coins as well. And that's because of that SBC from Ecuador that I mentioned. So that's going to be another 300 there. So it looks like we're going to be making at least a minimum of doubling our coins. Chinese league and Chinese player right back seem to go for at least nothing there, 200 unfortunately. But you can still list these up if you want to. I like to keep some for upgrades. And then what you do with everything else you discard... There are some kits and some badges that are worth a lot of coins, but it's very hard to find them. So if you don't know, you're just going to have to check like one by one as you go through. And we're just going to go through. I like to keep any players that are 200 coins because you will need them in the future. So as you can see here, we've got ourselves an MLS a left back rare. Looks like he is going to go for a price around 300 coins. So at least up for 300. So now we need to make 450 to make our money back. So again, we're going to discard everything here. Yes, I was just under 100, so we need to make at least three to 200 coins back. So checking on this goalkeeper who is Irish. Some of them have gone up because of chemistry. He's going to be 200 coins as well, so we're going to list him up for 200 to make our money back. The German centre mid from the Austrian league, and because he's major nation in a loft league, he is going to go for around 450, so or 350 there. So we have made our money back on that pack already. And we have this Polish guy. And if he's worth something, sell him. If he's not, like I say, store him in the club. I didn't actually need to sell that goalkeeper in the end, but it's not a problem. So he actually sells for 200. So we will list him up. Sorry, we will keep him in the end and then discard these. So, so far, two packs in. We've made a lot of profit on the first pack. And we've managed to make a little bit of profit on the second pack. So we've made no losses yet. And I will also add that our managers that are worth a lot. So if you get any of the World Cup Nation managers or Brazil or anything like that, they go for crazy coins. So we're going to have a look here. The Austrian goalkeeper, who is a rare. You need rares for the World Cup icons or icons in general. So the SBC, so where you can supply in 11 rare cards, you get yourself a two rare back or a small election. So this guy goes for 300. So we're looking for 450. Our Ghana left mid is going to go for around 300 as well but as you can see we've got no space left on our transfer list so we're gonna have to back out you need to have a really good transfer list space to be able to do this but what we'll do is i will show you what we've sold so as you can see here 400 350 250 300 and we still got a lot of things that i've packed earlier that we're opening so now we've got some more space we can go back to our pack again and carry it on and this is the best way to do it you will make unlimited amount of coins for a short amount of time because of the demand of the sbc the World Cup one comes out every day. We should get other nations as well that will come through in terms of World Cup daily SPCs that will help us with coins and basically bring the demand for the bronze packs as well. So, for example, we need Ecuador players. So, if you get any Ecuador players, they are worth about 2 3k easy. And as you see here, this, bro, uh, this German left back goes for 300. So, again, we've made our money back on this pack plus a little bit extra on top. And we've managed to keep one of the players unless he's worth a lot. We should double check, but I don't think he will be. And normally you'd have to spend at least 150 or buy now for 200. So every time you're getting yourself one player, this can help you out with the grind later on with the upgrades we get out. For example, the, eight, the 75 plus player picks or upgrades, 80 plus, etc. As long as you're getting yourself a rare every time, you are going to make coins. So as you can see here, we've got ourselves an Australian striker who's got 200 coin bid on him. So it looks like he's going to be 250. So we're going to put him up for 250. So we're looking for 500 coins back. Our right mid from the Irish is going to be 250 as well 200 there so he won't sell the scottish player from the center mid roll is looking like he is going to be around 200 and the left back is up for sale for 450 is the cheapest 
two hundred. So I'm not going to sell any of these. So we actually made a loss on this pack, but you could sell each and one of those for two hundred eventually when it goes round, and you would have made your money back. But I like to keep them if they're two hundred, unless I'm desperate to make profit on the one pack. Moving into our next pack, then again another rare. Seems to be very very lucky, and I hope we can hit one of the bigger nations that I mentioned. So here we go. Then we got ourselves a PSG Spanish left winger. And as you can see, because we made a loss on the last pack, this is how bronze pack method really works in terms of getting the best of the value, is we made a loss on the last pack, but we're going to make a massive win on this one by the looks of it. It looks like it's going to be about 1,900 coins. Stick them up for 1,900, and that's basically the next two packs for free, as well as any other one else is worth anything in here. So it looks like he is going to be nothing, and this center back could be worth something as well so he is nothing either 200 and we're going to discard everything else and like i said the check for the managers and kits if you need to if you're not sure a lot of the managers do go for a lot of coins and we're going to check our sold list again because we have sold a few more things and see what we have sold here once i back out and go on to the right thing so what have we sold here so we sold there too, we've got 550 and we're still selling things as well. So we'll open up a couple more packs just to show you how this works. If you haven't got the idea, as always, comment down below. I'm more than happy to get back to you with any questions you may have. Or if it's not working for you or something you're not understanding, not a problem at all. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. So we've got ourselves another rare here. Let's see what we get out of this. So we get ourselves two rares, which is great. So we're going to check the bronze rare center mid from Germany. It looks like to be 400 coins. So we've got to make 350 coins back to make a break even on this pack. The French rare striker goes for 850, 800, 700. So it looks like 500 coins. So he goes for 450. So we have made our money back already when we discard everything else. Then we can check if these are worth anything. So the French left back goes for 300, I'd say, by the looks of this. You want to make sure you're undercutting. So it's a 250, that's 200. The championship striker from Denmark goes for how much? 200. So they're not worth anything either. Not a problem. You can see we made money on that pack. And our coins are going up over time. And as well as that, we've managed to store a load of players into our club. We've sold two more things on the transfer list, which is the French striker and the German left back. We have got ourselves at least 10 to 12 things up for sale, come worth more than others. Sometimes players take a little while to sell. Let's say you list somebody up and it doesn't sell. Just re check his price, relist for 50 coins cheaper than what he is, and then he should sell. If not, just keep relisting, relisting. But let's open up our last bronze pack for the video. So we've got ourselves another rare. Let's see what we get out of this pack here. So here we go then. So nothing too crazy. We'll discard everything else. I don't think any of these are worth anything. The Denmark centre mid, how much does he go for? So it looks like 200. The German striker goes for 1,700, 250. So he doesn't sell either. And then our rare South African goes for, we'll see in a minute, somebody has mass listed these for some peculiar reason. Looks like 400. So we made a loss of about 350 coins on that pack. Plus the 223 bats, we actually made a loss of about 50 to 60 coins. So not too bad at all. But that's going to be the video today. If you have, like I said, any questions, comment down below. We have sold some more things here. Let's check quickly. Let's see what we got here then. So we have sold two more things. And the PSG and the, Ger the Scottish, there you go. So we made, what, 3, 4K off that there alone. Like I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and catch you in the next one. See you.